So I can officially fit four wheels into the 240. I don't have a hatch, so I can only fit one in the trunk. With the way that the brackets to the trunk come down, it doesn't really allow the trunk to close on the tire. I was able to fit all four wheels into the back of the 240. So I could fit one perfectly in here, but as you see, these like arms that hold the brackets up to the trunk just don't allow for any tire space because it makes the trunk just that much smaller. I know it looks like it fits and I think about it every single time I put wheels and tires in here, but it just, it doesn't work, I promise you. She's mad because I'm about to leave. Since I was really close, I decided to go balls to the wall. I got 40 self tappers. Now I know what you guys are gonna say, go ahead, get rib nuts and actually do it the proper way. Listen, self tappers are gonna work just for fiberglass over fenders. I don't even need to cut the fender, so all I'm really doing is putting holes into the car just for the over fender. That over fender is gonna stay on most likely. And if I ever want to actually upgrade and go to like rib nuts instead of self tappers, the holes will already be there, so it's not like it's really gonna make a difference. If they ever fall off, then I'll just know, okay, go ahead, get rib nuts. But if they don't, then it's fine, because they're stainless steel and they're gonna look good. Might as well throw the rest of the wide body kit on since we're gonna go ahead and get some hot boy wheel. Success. I have succeeded. I didn't drop the coffee. All right, so we got the weds in the 240. Like I said, I can fit only four in here and only one in the trunk. Yeah. Where's Chase? Okay. <laughs> I appreciate him so much. I don't think you guys understand. He ain't going nowhere. You gotta give it the good slap and then like, that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I've seen some shady shit in my life, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that shady? There. Oh, great. <laughs> All right, so we're running late. I'm supposed to be heading to this tire shop and then I ended up talking to Chris for way too long. So there's like five minutes we have to go get these tires mounted. And I hope it works and I hope they hold air because I really, really, really want to bring these to the next drift event this whole week. Fucking life right there. There's going to be a certain point to where he's going to know, okay, I have to put the cheetah on, right? He's going to go put air, try to put air in it and then Shh. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god. On the bottom. Oh, in there. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, is that bad? Hey, whipping out the cheetah. <laughs> Woo! We got hot boy wheels, baby. All right, so before we walk into chaos, let me just explain what's going on right now. I got Chad, Chase, and ev basically everybody here to help me swap the clutch on the 350Z transmission. If we stray away from that, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna tell you guys now, this is what we're doing, so if you get confused, just stay focused. All right, so we're basically, what well, it's called unmarrying, right? We're dropping the transmission. Yeah, we're dropping the transmission. Ah, we have technology. And I got my first 17 out. That's my first transmission bolt ever. Good job. You Congratulations. Yay. Yeah. Well, that's just an input shaft and the throwout bearing. I'd look up here too. Everyone said the throwout bearing was what was broken. It's okay. Throwout bearing looks fine. Is this supposed to be that dirty? This is all clutch material, isn't it? That's wet. It's 
Stuffy what? So I, don't, I think it's a 12. That looks cool. So when you press your clutch, these these right here, because the throttle bearing sits on here. Uh, slave cylinder. Slave cylinder pushes on the, the fork, and the fork comes off, and then like these come mm -hmm. off, and puts it neutral. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. I'll just drop the gun and help you. Ready? One, two. No, it'll be all right. We'll make it that. Okay. Oh. So what is going on here? Is that your rear main seal, maybe? Leaking. Damn, he just fucking gasket sealed that over. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Um... No. Does that look better? No. No? No. It's like. Oh, wait. Does that look better? Make the holes look like they're lined up to you? Yes. Up the top, and then you just... <laughs> okay, so hold on. Before you push too hard... Yeah, pull this up, because this has to align with that too. Did hmm. I break it? I broke it then. Yeah, actually you did. Damn. guys i think we're gonna end up calling this a night we ended up getting the hot boy wheels on the 240 which i'm extremely happy about as far as the 350z goes we were able to pull the transmission out but we weren't able to get the new transmission back in now we got the new clutch in but as far as the transmission goes we weren't able to do that because well i broke like the smallest thing that you could break on the throw up bearing which is pretty embarrassing but it is what it is i'll be able to go to advanced auto parts tomorrow and be able to get another one it was like two o'clock in the morning that's usually how it rolls around here so we're gonna get this prep there's still a little bit that we have to do tomorrow morning we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna attack this valve cover gasket and then we're gonna adjust the suspension on this side because we were able to do enough clicks on here to get the wheel perfect fitment to where we want it i'm able to run my fingers through it that's kind of how you'll be able to tell whether or not you have enough clearance for drifting just get your suspension as tight as possible within the front and then try and raise the suspension up a little bit just so you clear over some stuff and then if you hit into bumps you're not just eating your fender this is going to need to be raised a little bit but that's uh something that we can do tomorrow right now i'm just gonna have a bowl of cereal and call it a night so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up guys we are just basically documenting the start of me getting into the drift scene and i'm having so much fun doing it tomorrow is another drift event it's my second drift event ever at the showtime track so we're gonna see how good we could do over there i hope you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead and make sure you watch the next video where i'm gonna be at my next drift event i'm double r and i'm out